वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इज टू फोर्टी सिक्स अ स्क्वायर मॉड टू फिफ्टी सेवन और अनदर वे ऑफ आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन इज एक्स स्क्वायर इज अ आंसर ऑफ टू फोर्टी सिक्स सो टू फोर्टी सिक्स अ स्क्वायर मॉड टू फिफ्टी सेवन एंड फॉर दिस आई बी यूजिंग वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज रिलेटेड टू क्वाडिटेड रेजिड्यूज एंड लेजेंडर सिम्बल I have explained these properties immediately in the last video. I have added the link in the description. So to solve this, I am going to use these properties of the Legendre's and quadratic reciprocity law that we have did in the earlier video. In addition to that, we also did this property that if you have this Legendre symbol a by p, this is the same as a by p, and then b by p. So to solve this, let's write this into the legendary symbol. This is two forty six by two fifty seven. I need to know whether two forty six is a quadratic residue or not. If this is a quadratic residue, this should give me the answer plus one. If two forty six is quadratic residue, residue means it satisfies this congress which we have written here. Let's call this a star minus one. If two forty six, this is quadratic non residue, and we want to check which of these will hold. So that is the question. So now let's reduce this two forty six divided by two fifty seven. We can write two forty six as two by two fifty seven into three by two fifty seven. So I have done the prime factorization for the numerator term, and this is one. Now this term is plus one. As two fifty seven, this is congruent to one mod eight. So you can see that two fifty six is divisible by eight, and here I have used this property that two by p. If this is plus one, if p is congruent to one mod eight. So the remaining term that we are left is simply three by two fifty seven, and then we have forty one by two fifty seven. Now we will see the other terms. we can also notice that 3 by 257 so if i just look this separately this is same as 257 by 3 i can reciprocate using the previous quadratic reciprocity law because if p and q they both are congruent to 3 mod 4 in that case q by p is minus p by q but if any one of them is congruent to 1 mod 4 then you can simply reciprocate so 257 is congruent to 1 mod 4 so i can simply take the reciprocal and q by p will become p by q so this term is valid and then 257 this is further congruent to 2 mod 3 so this is 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 is congruent to minus 1 because 2 by p is congruent to 3 is congruent to 3 mod 8 so this is minus 1 so this is minus 1 this is plus 1 and let's see what is 41 by 257 To see forty one by two fifty seven, we can again replace two fifty seven by forty one. The same reasoning that two fifty six is congruent to one, two fifty seven is congruent to eleven mod forty one. Now again replace forty one by eleven as this satisfies the again given condition. Forty one is congruent to one mod four. So because forty is divisible by, so we can again take the reciprocal. This is same as eight by eleven. Eight is same as two cube by eleven. So This is two square by eleven, okay, and then we got two by eleven. Now square term will always give me the expression as one, so that means here we are left with only two by eleven. Now two by eleven will give me this value as minus one, because we can see that eleven is congruent to three mod eight. So from this uh, second that two by p is minus one, so this value is minus one. So here it is minus one. Now we got two negatives and we got plus one, so the overall answer is plus one, and so two forty one x square congruent to two forty six mod two fifty seven. This is solvable, and so this is solvable, or we can simply that say that two forty six is coming as a square of two fifty seven, or we may say that this is a quadratic residue mod two fifty seven. 